אור מרין, שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. I could add, welcome to Israel. Thank you. We've missed you. Where have you been? Well, I've been in Brussels. For the past year, I've been living there with my partner for life and work, uh, Oran Nahum. Uh, we are, um, we moved there to look for what, what can we find new and uh, exciting for us and for our future and for our profession. Um, and then what we found is actually a beautiful city filled with uh, artists, filled with dancers, a lot of dancers. All of them are foreigners, a lot, a lot of foreigners, people living in Brussels, living the art uh, oh, life. Oh, this is amazing. It is amazing. This <laughs> must be one of the best kept secrets in <laughs> Europe, maybe in the world of dance. Mm. Brussels as a capital of dance? Completely. Amazing. Completely, and it's not a new thing. It's quite old already. Uh, it's been like this for a few, few years. Okay. Uh, It's many things. It's, uh, first, it's the beautiful city in the sense of how it takes uh, all the different kinds of dance into it and money and places to work. And uh, it's not one genre. For example, Berlin, which is also a beautiful capital for dance, very one genre of dance. Brussels has this range of many kinds, many... Um, more to theater, more to uh, classical, more to really different and all of them living together side by side uh, and well. Living so well. if to su- try to sum up what you are describing here, an open-minded city Completely. when it comes to dance and Completely. very generous and v- maybe even spoiling. Maybe even spoiling. For now it's starting to get a little bit less spoiling because now they are starting to cut out the budget for the artist statue, which is an amazing thing, but then... Ah, because of the economic crisis. Yeah, but still, compared to what we have here, <laughs> it's still incredible. generous. It's still very generous. And uh, also, it's coming, everything is together. So if it's generous, and if the government is generous, also there is generous audience, and then there is generous festivals, and then everything just becomes more and more and more. Uh, and also because Brussels is the center of Europe, so a lot of dancers, because this profession... Uh, ask from you to travel a lot, so you tour a lot, so you go and do a project here, a project there. A strategic location. Completely. Okay. You are in the center and you can go out from there. So many okay. dancers found this place as a home base, even if they're not working inside. And that's why it's the capital of the EU yes. as well. Yes. But we've learned something important, that it's also the capital of European dance, yes. or one of the capitals. Yes. Oh, we are sitting here at the Tmuna Theater in Tel Aviv, exactly. because in a few minutes... We are about to enjoy <laughs> your new project R. Yes. And this is just before you go on a European tour. Yeah, it's a short European tour. This uh, last uh, four days has been like amazing and very um, exciting. After a whole year, uh, even a year and a half that we are working on this project slowly bit by bit, no budgets. Uh, He, going, coming back to Israel, going back to there, trying to pull all strings possible to make this uh, really complicated project to go on and uh, be possible. Uh, it, it arrived and uh, the premiere... Mazel tov, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. It was a very, very hard process. And we are so pleased and happy that it managed to really complete this project and uh, we are very happy with the, with the product we have. And the uh, premiere four days ago was very good and from then, today is actually the last show, so we are a little bit, I'm starting to be a little bit like, sad, the Vitamin project starts to be fading out, it's like, mm, I like being inside of it. But soon, end of August, we are going to perform in uh, Tanzmasse in uh, Dieseldorf, Germany. And there, it's a, it's a big festival of expo- exposure. Expo- Exposure? Yes, for dance, so there's a lot of festival managers and Coming from all over the world? From all over the world Wonderful So hopefully this will bring more performances In November we are in uh, Brussels So coming back to the city where everything started from Which is 
beautiful and it's a beautiful yeah. festival, in Nijet festival it's called. Okay. Wow. Yes. Wonderful. When it comes to the dancers, yeah. I yes. understand that they are from all over the world. Yeah. So we have one Polish girl, we have one Icelandic girl, hey. and then we have, yeah, it's amazing, and then we have the French guy and an Israeli girl. So all of them living in Brussels between three years till some of them ten years. So the list, uh, the, the, it's really three years till ten. So they are from all over the world, but actually they are very much Brussels. <laughs> and here comes the annoying question. Yes. So I... Ask, I, I, ex I excuse myself before asking it. Art, dance, especially modern dance, are basically cosmopolitan when it comes to their messages and the language and the form. So here comes the annoying question. What, if at all, makes your work as a co choreographer Israeli? Mm. On one hand, I want to answer, I hope nothing, <laughs> because really this work started from this point of uh, feeling a lot of different feelings and frustrations and happiness and many mixed, kinds of mixed, 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 completely mixed emotion about uh, being away from home, being what's uh, roots, where is home, where is, uh, what about all these definitions we are carrying with us, uh, all this baggage. And I felt that, especially as an Israeli, I felt I'm carrying a heavy bag with me where okay. I, when I go out. And for us, as an as artist Israeli, I'm sure every Israeli artist will say this, when you go out of Israel immediately, the first question you are asked is, what is your political position? position? And actually, I don't, for me, it's not very, I, I would like to be me. <laughs> And I would like to be an artist. I don't feel I can represent Israel. I don't feel I can represent politics, Israel. Um, and we are trying, me and Juan, in our work, not to take a, polit a political side or a political art into it. Of course, everything you do is political this way or another. But yes, my naive, naive dream is... Uh, no war, no borders, peace and love. John Lennon's Imagine. Completely. This cannot happen. I know it, but... Uh, you never know? No, I think now you already know. <laughs> but I have... I, 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 I don't think there's something... Uh, I can tell you where I think I am Israel. And where I am proud of my, my, my fire. Because I think my fire is very Israel fire. And I, I, I was born here. I... I, I I feel I have this huge energy coming from this place to to do, to be, to uh, and, and especially in this year in Brussels, I felt it. So if all Marin was would have been born in another place, not question. in Israel, her work would be different. I'm sure my work would be different because I would be different, because my feelings would be different, because my brain. Would work different and uh, what's amazing about this work that I was looking and researching <laughs> I was looking and researching all the time for uh, exactly this what is our common point with each other as human beings and not as a Israeli, Polish, French and many interesting things came from this many uh, I found I found the place of the inside of us, if uh, I always have this image, if I open all of us up, out, the inside is very similar. We are fragile in the same way. We communicate when we are honest and uh, clear, clean. We are communicating from the same place. We are, uh, especially, I don't know, I don't, I, I'm coming from art, so this is like my, my vision, but I feel like artists communicate from a very clear zone with each other which is a very much on based on emotions and feelings and from that point I feel there's a lot of communication and even though we are very different from each other in many ways still we are very much alike than maybe all the people that are Israeli like me a universal message hopefully uh, saluting the cosmopolitan
yes uh, saluting and also questioning it mm -hmm. because yes I think it's a uh, it's incredible what we are what we are honored to to have in these years now uh, as artists and as you know uh, where we are in, in this side of the world but uh, in the other hand I think it's also very confusing this freedom and it's very confusing this uh, not borders and this is also something was very interesting for me to research with the European dancers who don't feel any borders they don't have it in their language in a European capital in a European capital so yeah I think it's not I, I don't have a certain message to say yes to it or no to it but I would say I have feelings about it, I have thoughts about it, and I, I wanted to, to push them up and propose like thoughts about this feeling. Because there is so much immigration anyway, and we as artists, we chose voluntarily to do these immigrations, to do this uh, traveling around the world, to be not attached to a home. We choose it with open eyes. To explore. To explore. It's exploration. Yes, it's exploration. It's exploration, but not... You know, when you go to India for six months, you go to explore. This is exploration, but as a way of life. And you, you gain a lot and lose a lot. And this place was very interesting for me. You mentioned Oran. Yes. Your partner, both for work and for life. Yes. Which leads me to the following question. You look at Israeli modern dance. It's very common. You Topics. have in Baal and of Shalom. Yeah, you true. have Liat and Nir. You have uh, Sharon, and I forgot the name of her partner. It makes it easier? Yes. Yes. Uh, first of all, it's not common only in Israel. I, I, you, okay. meet, you meet it uh, all over the world. Okay. But, uh, I can, I can only say about my feelings, because uh, Oran, having Oran with me, it uh, makes it all so much better. It's, uh, in, through the last 10 years, it's been sometimes more together and less together, it depends on the project and on, and every project, as much as we are together, it makes the project better. In, in any in any case of for the art and also from for being able to do it doing art here is not easy you need to fight a lot you want to be a choreographer and suddenly you you find yourself all the time you know carrying things uh, carrying equipment uh, all day long heavy doing stuff. physical labor uh, completely because you cannot afford all what you uh, dream to have and you are doing like 10 different roles that you were supposed to be a choreographer, but actually you are 10 different things. And if you have someone that you can share these roles with, that you can uh, also have feedbacks in and out, it's just easier and better. What can we wish Or Marine <laughs> and Oran? First of all, I wish for this project to continue, because we worked really hard, the dancers worked so hard for this. Um, and it, this is all, always this point that you work so hard and research and you in your process but then comes the performance and now it's money time <laughs> so now this thing has to keep on going and performing so hopefully this is my wish for this work this is my wish for these dancers who put so much into it because this piece is not just dance it's documentary film they, they talk, they gave me their hearts completely and their stories and they put so much on stage, so I really hope, like every piece, but yeah, I hope it will keep on running. Excellent. And health. <laughs> so we wish you all that Thank you. and much more. Thank you. And mainly we wish you that the coming back process mm. will be much easier mm. than you might think. Yes, I mean, it's home after all. It's huh? home. It's home, and the fact that I wanted, I, I, I chose to do the premiere here. I wanted to bring the dancers here to my world. I wanted to premiere, to premiere in my country. It was important for me. And because all this uh, work is about them so much, the camera is on them all the time, that was an opportunity for me to show them a little bit of my angle without talking about it, just bringing them here. So for me, it's very, I'm, I'm very exciting, Wonderful. excited about it. Wonderful, and we can't wait for the show to begin. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome. All the best. <laughs>